Thank you. Thank you. You know, I took a terrible ribbon last week when my daughter was campaigning somewhere in Indiana, I think, and they said, think your mother will be a better president than your dad was? She said, yes, I do. <laughs> when I was president, we had 22.7 million new jobs. In this decade, only 5 million, less than a fourth as many. We had almost 8 million people move their way from poverty up into the middle class, and the welfare roll shrank by 60%. That is the American dream. In this decade... Five million people have fallen from the middle class back into poverty. That's the American nightmare. In the world, the people are mad at us for a whole bunch of reasons. It's not just Iraq. You need to know that. They're mad at us because basically they believe we have told them for seven years that we want one set of rules for America and another set for everybody else. Because we believe in diplomacy with friend and foe alike, we're not scared to talk to anybody. We're proud of our military, but we think it should be a last resort, not the other way around. More biofuels, more solar energy, more wind energy, more geothermal energy, more biomass energy. Biomass is a fancy way of saying we ought to close every landfill in this country and use the garbage to generate electricity to make America free again and strong again. If you know you can't afford another decade of double health care costs, the only candidate you can vote for now is Hillary. She's got the answer, and she'll give it to you if you support her. She believes we should say if you become a teacher or a police officer or a nurse or a fireman or a mental health worker, your service should pay your college loan off. Every year you serve, you knock some of that loan off. But the most important thing about these two impressive candidates is their innate abilities. One is an inspirational speaker and a riveting, charismatic speaker. And one is a change maker. I think it's more important, having been president, to be a change maker. And at one time in my life, I could make a pretty good speech. <laughs> I'll just tell you something else, too. If North Carolina votes for her, she'll be the nominee of the Democratic Party and the next president. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you.